tutorial is going to be on granular synthesis. Uh, I've been listening to this band Diet Word lately, and they have the song called DJ High Tech Rules. It uses granular synthesis during the intro, and uh, Steinberg just released this granular synthesizer called Padshop Pro yesterday, and I wanted to see if I could replicate the intro, more or less. Um, so what you need to do in order to do this tutorial is get the wave file somehow, um, rip it off of YouTube, doesn't matter, and then chop out a piece, specifically this piece, because this is the part that's being grain shifted right here. So anyway, I have an instance of pad shop open, and it has drag and drop functionality, so we just bloop, put that right in there. Um, but we want to change some parameters around to make sure it really sounds like the the intro to the original song. Um, in fact, let me play the intro so you can hear that. Super vulgar, I know. Um, so, what we want to do is in Pad Shop take off um, any kind of pitched elements. So, let me just show you what I mean. So, here's that's what it sounds like. Uh, let's take off, let's make the pitch fixed. Now the timbre changed, but the pitch is still um, uh, there. Uh, that's because key follow is on, so we want to turn that down to zero. Uh, and what that was doing was changing the playback speed, which invariably changes the pitch. Um, with granular synthesis, what's happening is the waveform is being chopped up into itty bitty bits. And because you're dealing with a wave file, dynamic wave file, some of those bits can be a lot louder than others. So there's this gain control knob right here. Um, what that's going to do is just compress this audio file. So the quieter bits will be louder and the louder bits will be softer. Um, and uh, let's put our, our position right at the beginning of the waveform because that's what we need to be grain shifted. I assigned the duration control right here to a quick control. So you can see that. Um, and here's what uh, what that's going to sound like. Okay, so basically we just want that to be automated. Um, what I could do is uh, I could um, hold on, let me reset. It. There we go. I could um, just straight record it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add a MIDI event. So where's my draw tool? Let's add it right here, about up to there. Open it up, add a MIDI note. And it doesn't matter which MIDI note, anyone will do. OK, and then we want write on. And then I could hit play and just write in that that data. So um, let's do that. Now, let's see if this uh, glitch happens. Patch Up Pro has a glitch where if you make a MIDI event and then write automation and then and then stop, it'll sustain the note indefinitely. Um, I found a way around that. So if it happens, I'll just show you how to get around that. But here, here it goes. Yep. Okay. So the glitch did happen. Um, all you have to do to make it go away is remove the selected track and then Control Z. Just undo it and it'll work. Um, so let me mute the part in the original song so it'll just be this playing and then it'll go right into the original song. Um, take off solo and let's hear what that sounds like. All right. 
Say that again, because uh, the audio dropped out. All right, there it is. Um, so hopefully this helps you understand granular synthesis a little bit better. Um, that's uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to make the intro, other than add the kick, the cymbal, the noise reverby thing uh, that was in the original. And um, and yeah, so enjoy. <laughs> 